Hey guys, what's up? So many of you will never ever 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 open and read the syllabus and the notification despite the fact that it is one of the most important aspect of UPSC's preparation. So I thought Ki, why don't I share the syllabus with you. So UPSC CSE syllabus, I will be talking about basic examination and this is presented by me Roman Seni. So this is something about me and I have made lots of courses. There are like more than 3000 lessons on an academy. So you can watch all the lessons specifically if you are preparing for UPSC, SSC, CAT, GATE, etc. And, and you can also learn how to like become good at English. So you can follow me on an academy on this link and like improving your willpower and whatever. So about UPSC CSE sir and ma'am that UPSC conducts civil services examination every year unlike state PSCs where examination might not be conducted due to various reasons. Between May and August you will find prelims. Uh, between October and December there is mains and between March and May of next year it will be interview and in May to June your result will come out. Now one of the most well known posts are IAS, IPS, IFS, IRS among like there are approximately 20 posts. Now exam is conducted into two stages one is civil services preliminary examination which is an objective type examination meaning by it is an MCQ based examination where you need to get like like select the right answer. And the second stage, there is no third stage. Second stage is main examination. This is qualifying and this is like determining your rank and merit. It includes written as well as interview aspect. Now, civil services preliminary examination, which is objective type, is ba it basically contains two papers. One is paper one, another is paper two. And it contains maximum of 400 marks. Okay. So paper one contains 200 marks, paper two contains 200 marks. So it will never ever determine the final order of merit. So there is no point of studying too much for prelims. Very, very focused. It is absolutely qualifying in nature. No matter if you get 400 out of 400, still you will be equal among the 15,000 people who appear for prelims. Now paper two is further qualifying in the qualifying. That is, there is no evaluation of paper one if you fail in paper two and you need 66%, uh, 66 marks out of 200, that is roughly 33%. So that is the number of marks required in paper 2 it is just a screening test it is a screening test to determine if you can your paper 1 should be evaluated and paper 1 is a screening test to determine whether you should give mains or not now those eligible approximately 11 lakh point five people 11.5 lakh people filled the form this year and only 15,445 will be giving mains so and out of 7 lakh people who appeared in prelim so you can imagine the cutoff will be approximately 111-112. Now CSC prelims paper 1 it is the syllabus this is very very important. Can you see how the syllabus starts? It starts with current events of national and international importance. Now mains also is completely focused on your current affairs these days. 70% of all the mains paper they are asked from current affairs either directly or indirectly even historical questions are asked based on current affairs for example if it is 50th anniversary of non-line movement you might see a question on that so it is where becomes very important that you follow daily summary of hindu which we provide you daily and pib also we are starting soon you need to focus if you if if summaries are provided like for example kurukshetra otherwise it's not worth it to read it but if a summary is provided in 20 minutes or 30 minutes then it becomes very good something like that then second is history of india and indian national movement now this is again very very important it mainly talk about indian national movement that is where the question comes from and art and culture then india and the world geography and like questions appear both from indian and world geography physical social economic geography of india and the world all of that are asked now indian polity and governance it includes your constitution political system Panchayati Raj is specifically mentioned that is why you will see it is very important both for prelims and mains perspective. Public policies, lot of questions come from government policies, government schemes, direct questions will be there in the examination, rights issue, again like very very current affairs focus, nothing to be coming from static portion. And then let's further discuss economic and social development, sustainable development, poverty, inclusion, demographics social sector initiatives again as you can see a social sector initiative word is like specifically mentioned economics is specifically mentioned so you will see questions coming from this social sector initiative this year approximately 5 to 10 schemes were asked okay 
then it becomes very very important that you focus on current affairs general issues and on environmental ecology 100% guarantee 20 questions will come always from this biodiversity climate change very 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 important that do not require subject specialization you do should not do phd in that then general science like basic ncrts up to 12th class mostly up to 10th class something up to 12th class it will suffice now csc paper 2 syllabus it includes comprehension reading comprehension uh, half of the paper comes from this approximately one third to half then interpersonal skills including communication skills then logical reasoning analytical ability you'll find five questions sometimes decision making sometimes they ask but they did not ask this time and problem solving general mental ability like basic one or two question here and there now basic numeracy it includes class 10th level again can you read class 10th level english language comprehensive skills always they ask up to class 10th level numbers relations order of magnitude now data interpretation also it is not cat level very high fi no it is just basic class 10th level charts graphs tables data sufficiency all this is just merely up to class 10th level so you need to focus on the fact that that it is only up to class 7th level so even if you are very weak you should not re start reading 11th and 12th class ncrts just go through previous year question paper you will qualify now civil services main examination it includes written and interview so for a total of 2025 marks it is there seven paper does not require any specialized study again it is very very generic half of the things will come from hindu yojana pib etc now it will test candidates basic understanding of all the relevant issues ability to analyze and take a view on conflicting socio-economic goals objectives and demands this is very important what is your opinion what is your view how do you analyze it and what is your view okay so main examination it consists of two qualifying papers that is one is english compulsorily other is indian language usually 50 percent of people take hindi but people take tamil marathi etc now seven papers are considered for merit now qualifying papers are 300 marks each like english hindi telugu tamil kannada and with 25 percent marks eligible for qualification so it means you need to have at least 75 per 75 marks 10% of the people who appear for mains fail in this examination. Now there are two qualifying papers. Paper 1 on Indian languages I have already spoken. The scheduled Indian languages. And paper B on English. Now mains examination. Like I will just go through the brief in this particular lesson. We will be talking about brief. But it is huge syllabus. Huge. And in next part I will be talking about that. And then we will be talking about 65th annual report. Which president submits. Uh, UPSC submits to president. Now papers which are counted for merit with syllabus it include paper 1 includes essay, paper 2 includes general studies part 1. So for example Indian heritage and culture, history and geography of the world and society. So it includes history and geography basically that's all and art and culture. Now paper 3 which is technically general studies paper 2 uh, it includes governance, constitution, polity, social justice and international relation. IR and polity and governance basically very very important highly current uh, focused very very current focused 100 percent of the international relations are asked from current affairs hardly any question i have seen in last three four years which is from static portion even like when ik gujaral sir died that is why the question like was uh, surrounding that so can you imagine like even like that was based on current affairs paper four general studies paper three so it includes technology economic development biodiversity environment security disaster management etc then the syllabus continues the paper five which includes general studies paper four that is ethics integrity and aptitude paper six it includes optional subject paper one which whichever optional subject you choose it may be there may not be there there is only one optional but there are two paper for optional and paper seven finally includes optional subject paper two like whatever you choose so like don't start your reading optional right now it may not be there next year but anyway let's not jump the gun and till april like don't focus that much but let's see where it goes so next part i'll continue discussing the syllabus of the mains examination and interview personality development so thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day